Alright, hi everyone. Today, I'm going to show you how to get ROMs and uh, emulators. Game Boy emulators. It's very easy, very fast. I'm, I've been asked many times to show everyone how to do it. And I made a video originally, but I never posted it up because it's not on my phone or anything. So I'm just going to show you a quick, simple way of how to do this with any Android phone, tablet, just anything for Android and it's super easy. Alright, so what you're going to do uh, is you're going to go to the Play Store. And through the Play Store you are going to uh, search for an app. The app is called GBC. Well, all you have to do is type in GBC emulator and it'll be like the first one second one actually it's gonna be the Game Boy Color AD emulator so you just download that I've already downloaded it so while y'all download that I'll show you what it looks like uh, it's right here for me I'll just show y'all how Pokemon Gold looks Actually, no. I'll show you a game that I already started. Mm. What I'm doing right here, you don't have to do. It's just... I have so many things on my uh, phone. So I have to go through different kind of files. Alright, this is my crystal version. As you can see, it works, you move around. I just, I played this like crazy when I first got it, but then I downloaded so many things now that I don't even have time for them. But I mean, it's fun to play when you're like at school, work, anything like that. You can see it works, it's very good. Now that you downloaded that, I'll show you how to get ROMs. And for me, I already have a bookmark, but for any kind of ROMs, this is the best website to go to. Here. It's called muparadise.me. Go ahead and look at that, www.muparadise.me. And then when you get to this website, you'll it'll start you on home. And then from these these little tabs right here you'll click ROMs, ISOs, and games. And then from here it'll have consoles, arcade systems, but you want to go to handheld and cell phones. And you see how it says Game Boy Color ROMs? You could do Game Boy ROMs or Game Boy Color, it's the same thing, but I always just go to Game Boy Color. And then it'll take you to this page, and then you just put, click here to be taken to the new GBC section. And it'll have all the ROMs you want. Starts with top downloaded. So, I will show you, the only one I think I don't have downloaded is Silver, so I'll just download Silver. And it's the same for every single ROM to download. So... Once you're on the page, you scroll down to direct download links. And you can do all this straight from your phone. You don't have to go to the computer and download all that stuff, which, like, takes a lot of time. Because I had to do that because I have, like, Nintendo 64 emulators and PlayStation 1 emulators. It's just a lot of work. And then you click on direct download and it will take you to this page and then you press direct download again and you see it will start downloading okay and once you download that and again this is it's the same for every single emulator that you want to download so that's really easy you go to your GBC one and then what I'm doing right here y'all don't have to do so it'll take you straight to it but if you do have problems you're gonna wanna press the arrow button this is if you have problems and you can't find it go to your arrow button 
I'm going to go down to SD card. Because I got confused and I had to do this like by myself. And then go to download. And then just find the one you just downloaded, which mine was silver. And that's it. You're done. Oh, I'm going to show you how to navigate the menu too because this is a little tricky. Whenever you're done with your game, you do not press save inside game checkpoints and uh, things like that. What you're going to want to do is you're going to want to press the menu button, whatever it is, because I know it's different symbols for uh, different phones and tablets, but the menu button. You're going to want to press save. And usually I just put it on quick because as soon as you start it up again, it'll just be there. It'll just start up right away. And then uh, whenever you do not just back out of the game whenever you're done, because if you do, you can see how it still has the game voice symbol. It'll keep it running all day long and just kill your battery. So what you're going to do is you press the menu button you press close right here and it'll close it no menu button I mean no Game Boy button okay so that's pretty much it I'm sorry for the wait I've already told a couple people I was gonna make this video but I just haven't got into it and yeah I hope y'all enjoy y'all's emulators and I'll probably make a new one for the N64 or the PlayStation 1 uh, emulator, wherever it is. And then the Game Boy Advance one, which is pretty easy too. So, yeah, I hope you'll enjoy. And uh, I'm out.